epic intro music. So yeah, last time out, the episode was pretty short. I was a bit tight for time because I just recorded the huge first episode, but I was really excited to get back into it. Anyway, today is a new day, and I hope to get a little bit further, just purely so I can compare it to other Souls games, really. Because, like I said, amazing so far, but we haven't really got far enough for me to really compare it. Okay, so where were we? We found a Stargazer. I don't think we went anywhere. Anyway, let's get stuck back in. Don't want to do any jumping down yet. Okay, okay yeah, I thought something would kill me. Normally does. Where is he? He's on the roof. Okay, what? <sighs> Where's he shooting from? Oh, he's up there. The okay, at least we know where he is now. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, and we're dead. No. Nope. Yeah, okay. That was a horrific start, I've got to admit. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do it. Let's pretend that didn't happen. I don't think we've actually been down this bit. I might be wrong. Might be wrong, but I still don't think I've been down there. Okay. Right, so the ambush doesn't hit me if I do that. Cool, and then the guy up there, so we're going to run up and kill these two guys quickly first. And then we can go and grab that item. Oh, oh I love that. Okay, we're not jumping up after him this time. Okay, so we have a new thing. The Venig... Venici's Venici. What is it? Venici? How do you say it? Venici Kratz Landmark Guide the Second. Guide number two. The Alchemist Bridge is the bridge on the Elysian Boulevard and the main way to Kratz City Hall. The Holy Uroboros, the mark of the Alchemists, is fittingly engraved into the bridge. Uroboros, now that is Resident Evil. This shows that the Alchemists are not just a powerful privilege class, but have also donated tremendous amounts of money across the city. Thanks to the thriving culture of philanthropy in Krat, you can find areas with names of prominent figures. It's like the city's motto, the citizens are the owners of the city. The most widely known attraction is Rosa Isabel Street. It's named after the cultural sponsor, Lady Isabel Menard. But if you think about how the lady's married to the leader of the Alchemists, Valentinus, you'll think twice about who really is in control of Krat. The union of Krat's old families and the organisation of alchemists is shown in a symbolic form, given that the sacred Uroboros mark is engraved on City Hall as well. It's obvious who owns the city of Krat. Okay, we got that again. Rating 3 out of 5, a good place to learn about Krat's beginning, end and its essence. Uh, the reporter says this guide was made with the support of the Nietzsche company, but may not reflect the company's opinions. Okay. So, is that something to do with the next boss? I don't know. I would just like to go down and have... Ah, yes, yeah, so there's another ladder there. Wait, oh. Sense something strange. Jeepers. Okay. Is, butterfly? is it going to kill me? Why is the ergo reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Oh, we got a moonstone. So that must be like those the bugs, basically, in Dark Souls. Interesting. So, warning, petrification, disease, quarantine zone, no trespassers. Everyone is a patient or a lunatic. Do not speak to them. Okay, so I'm guessing that is the progression point. I may be wrong, so I'm going to try to explore everything else first. So we're going to go to the top of that, um, and then we're going to go have a look around the bottom. Let's go over here. There's a couple of ladders. It looks like there's a lot to explore. Dim Ergo Fragment. That's good. That's like souls in it. Okay. 
Right. Oh, so we can't actually go up there. Not that we really needed to. Okay, let's go down this one first then. Who have we got? Okay, a little bit of an ambush. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, so that is it. You just knock them off and it's a trap. There's... Don't know if there's anything else to it. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we've got something else that might be more defense, more gear. I'm not sure. Um, there's probably an equip load. Oh. Ah, okay. We've got MP. We do have NPCs and they're in a window like Bloodborne. Is that you, Murphy? Oh. I guess not. Murphy is a super cool police officer. <coughs> As a puppet, even the petrification disease can't get him. I wish I was like him. <coughs> you should leave so you don't catch the disease from me. Okay, so it really is very much like Bloodborne. Okay, so it's just the same thing now. So I guess we have to go find Murphy. Okay, Radiant Ergo Fragment, that's good. Oh, that is a big boy. Was not ready for that. Okay, so we have to try to get behind them and do the charged attack, basically, and then get a stagger. Oh, was not watching. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm a bit worse than I was for the last two episodes. Wasn't watching the old stamina there. On swing. Nice. Okay, what did we get? A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. So, can't remember what the Star Fragment does, but that is nice for everything else. So, are these pointless to break? They're just basically traps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still zapping me as well, so I guess we just completely ignore them. Radiant Ergo. Nice. Okay, so we've got three dogs, and this is the ladder to the other side. Okay. Okay, it wasn't a dog. Okay, Gemini is emergency protection. And then we can't get the item until that stops. Doesn't look like we can interact with anything else around here, but maybe this opens up a shortcut. Looks like there's another dog around there as well. Oh, okay, no, the shortcut's on the other side. Gotcha, gotcha, so we definitely haven't been over there. Right, probably going to be someone else attack me. Oh, there is, but not yet. Oh, we've got another Moonstone. We might be able to get to plus three on the weapon if we're lucky. Nice. Now we've just got to be patient until that stops. Good. Don't think that hurt us, which was good. Ah, another Moonstone. Brilliant. So we could... Uh, yeah, we want to get behind him, though. And be on the lookout for ladders. 
Is there any illusory walls in this game? Oh, something has popped out. Those normal ones are very basic though. Good, 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 good. Right, we can level up and level our weapon up now. So we probably want to head back before going to the next place. Can't remember, can we just warp? I actually can't remember if we can just warp. But yeah, I'm going to cut because I'm going to head back to the hotel and level up before I go into the petrification place. But yeah, it is also, it is really interesting actually how that NPC was in a window like Bloodborne. And like I said in the last one, this petrification thing is just like the Beast Plague from Bloodborne so far. So I wonder if the laws are as deep, probably not as deep. You know, I've been hearing it's more story focused at least. Oh yeah, and please let me know how the audio is. I've actually put the game down a couple of notches. I, If the audio was fine, I can turn the game volume back up. Yep, yeah, I think honestly we start bumping up the health a bit. Um, and let's use all... Oh, we could check the defensive parts actually. I can't. I, well, I haven't figured out the weight load boundaries yet, but I guess we don't want to go over about 60-70%. Okay, so again, this is weight up, but everything else is better. So for now, for now, we're going to switch to that. Okay, and then we're going to try to level up the weapon too. Okay, so uh, we're actually lacking the ergo, so we can use up these items. And I'm holding on to that other one in case there's a boss weapon. I know my way. Okay, so we can upgrade to plus two. And then, oh, plus three, we need four, so we need another two. We need 1,350 to level up, so I might just grab that 350 quickly. And that's the point. Do you want me to include all of the bits in between? Do you want the full playthrough, or shall I just cut to the most important parts? Because it's different for every game, really, isn't it? And I don't know what people want for Souls games. They don't want to literally see everything. Now I'm going to pop up here because after we kill these two, we'll be able to level up. I just want to see if the ergo goes up for that. It does. Okay, so we can already level up, so we might as well head back, level up the one more time, get that extra bit of health. That is the most. That is the best way to do it because if we go on not knowing what's out there, we're just gonna lose the ergo, and we're gonna be under leveled when we get to the next boss. We want as much advantage as possible. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think another one in vitality is good for me. Right, and now we're gonna get properly into it. We're going into the petrification zone. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it so far too. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. Because at the moment I'm just kind of playing how I would play if I wasn't recording, you know. Right, so should we try to run most of it? Oh, we... Wow, I was kind of expecting to be able to take them without taking a hit. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to bother with the guy up there this time. Let's get on with it. Right, brilliant. Okay, so petrification. Okay, so the petrification zone. Let's see what's in here. I wonder if it's going to be like a status effect build up. Why won't she answer me? Oh, my baby. Is it going to be like creepy prams? Like in Bloodborne. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything straight away. Let's see what attacks us when we get down. Okay, so we've got a big lad, a big lad. Uh, we're going to need to practice on the big lad. All right. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's the thing I was trying to do. Learn the parries. <laughs> if I'm going to do it here, I don't know because you only get three heals. So that is different to Bloodborne's 20. So you don't really have time to mess about. Oh, that was good. Oh, didn't get the stagger though. These guys seem a little bit easier to dodge than the other ones. I'm still not really doing all that much damage to him though. Try and get a few extra hits in, but got to watch the stamina too. See, I still don't know whether spamming on one is better or the heavy attacks better. So I can hit like three of them inlet. He recovers quite quickly from that stagger and we don't have much stamina so I might just stick to how I'm playing. Okay, and we got the Batten Head and Batten Handle. It's one of them a weapon. Oh, it looks like it is. Nice. Okay, so how do we equip that then? Ah, oh, brilliant. So that's... Uh, so we've got the rapier and we've got the... Ah, uh, it's a strength weapon. There's not much point. Okay, so I'm not going to try it out because it's a strength weapon. Yeah, no point. So we came down that ladder. There is another ladder here. So I'm going to check this ladder first because I feel like it probably thinks you're going to miss that and go straight out the archway. Um, oh, so we could have just jumped down this way instead. Oh, okay. There's nothing here. <laughs> I guess it's just like a ranged spot to fight him from. And we've got uh, Torn Doodle. Okay, so uh, it's like kind of like Resident Evil again, where it's like itchy, tasty. It itches, peel the skin, and there's blue blood. Blood, blood. Pretty cocoon. Blue angel. Joyful appetite. Blue death. What a feast. Death, death, and death. I'm alive. Itches. <laughs> it is exactly like that. I think that's a Resident Evil reference, pretty much. You can at least see... That the inspiration is fairly obvious at least. Oh, we've done that again. We've hit the. <laughs> we've used the fable art by accident. We might get used to it eventually. Eventually. We might get used to it eventually. Okay, so this guy seems to be on every poster. He's either like the main bad guy or he's the next boss. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, so we've got a blocker now. We've got a blocker! We've got a blocker! Okay, these guys are a bit tougher. They're, they're up in their game a little bit here. We've broke his... Oh, the ultimate defense technique. Did that count as a parry? I think it did. We broke his weapon. <laughs> okay. Attribute purification and pupil. Whatever the hell that is. Remove... Oh, okay, so that probably removes uh, petrification or something. And this looks like a shortcut. This must be the gate I just tried on the other side. Yeah. Okay, so we can't go that way, I'm guessing. So I guess we have to go in there, so I'm going to look everywhere else first. Right, so we're out of health already. I wonder when we get like upgrades and we can have more health files. If we don't, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, so we've got the urgent repair tool. I guess that's for repairing weapons. And I guess this is another shortcut that we get later. Oh, no, we get this one too. Oh, okay, so that might be the progression point. Let's have a look in here. OK, 
Okay. Looks like this room should be used for something. Ah, repair tool may be used on this. I don't know, maybe we used it. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, another shortcut. Okay. Ah, that makes sense. Now, do we have enough to level up with any items? We do not. But I am betting it's about one or two kills until we can level up again, so I might just do that. Okay, so we'll have a quick look through here. Let's hope it's not a boss straight away. It could be, couldn't it? They did say the bridge. This could be a boss because we just got the shortcut. Right, I'm going to guess that that's the next boss. And I'm just going to go kill a random couple of dogs and then level up. And then check the bridge out. Alright, so what triggers that thing to explode? Just you hit again. Because it went off last time when I got the backstab. Yeah, so we can level up now anyway. So that is what I shall do. I may cut back to the hotel. It is lucky I checked in here first. I almost walked into that boss. If it's not a boss, I was definitely getting warnings about it. Right. Okay, so we'll have uh, one more level in health, please. I should be keeping track of the deaths as well. I'll, I'll try and remind myself to do that. Because so far, I think it's four to the Puppet Master and one full death uh, when I was just trying to get back into the game. <laughs> Alright, I kind of don't want to tackle those guys again. They chasing me. No, good. Actually, there was a voice when we first jumped down, wasn't there? And I got distracted by one of the mini-bosses. So maybe there was an extra window we could have talked to. Because there's some bang in there too, look. All puppets will be destroyed. Uh, that doesn't sound good. So... We can still run out. It's not like a boss gate. But I have got the feeling this is going to be the... Okay. Okay, so if Geppetto's actually in there, it's probably just going to be a cutscene. <laughs> Fingers crossed? You know what the puppet frenzy, don't you? <laughs> You're their maker, practically their father. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait. I know you. Or more like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. God you damn it. Sneak past me. Die! Okay. Whoa, okay. Okay, you both. Okay, it's a boss, it's a boss. Right. Right, stamina, please. He's probably got some mad, yeah, dash attacks. Whoa, okay. Right. I'll kill you both, then string you up on the bridge. Hey, he don't feel too bad. Uh, he's probably got some mad second phase though, isn't he? Of 
Come on then, my donkey. Come on, donkey. Right, let's try to get behind him. Right. Oh, okay, extra move there. I didn't expect that. Okay, I think we'll be fine. I'm trying to tank too many hits now. Oh, okay, so we can circle around and get a backstab look. Oh, easy. Okay, so that trivialized it a little bit. <laughs> Poor donkey. Poor donkey. <laughs> Finally, we meet, son. Father! Come true. Seeing you like this, I understand why some people despise me. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I didn't see all of that in time, but that looks good. Okay, so can we get any more dialogue? All about your experiences. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized. We'll catch up at hotel. Club. Okay, so frenzied puppets, that sounds fun. I want to hear. Use the okay, so he's done now. Uh, we could have a quick look. Let's just have a quick look and then we'll look at the stuff at the end. I should stop just looking at everything straight away. Try and be slightly more methodical here. It is a let's play. <laughs> And another Moonstone. Brilliant. Okay, so I think that's one more to the next upgrade. That was a fun boss. Um, once I realised that you could circle around and stab him in the back, that made it a little bit easier. Then There's often a stargazer that I've been there when you beat a boss. It doesn't look like one's appeared. But it looks like that's one. Oh, yeah. Okay. And again, my often assumptions there for Souls games. <laughs> I've got to remember that this may be different. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so that's another one we will unlock later. If we use that Dimergo fragment, we'll probably be able to level up as well. Let's just use it now. Yep, we can. So before heading on we'll go back and level up let's just have a quick look at the equipment too okay so it wasn't a weapon it wasn't an amulet it said like apparel though didn't it oh costume oh i didn't even know you could do that <laughs> i genuinely didn't okay so we can get a dog head that looks pretty cool Okay, so did they, I, I guess they don't do anything, but we can wear the... That's creepy, though. <laughs> oh, you can wear the emerald glasses and the emerald top hat together. I think the dog's coolest. I mean, it looks a bit like my dog, too, but the mad donkey mask, it's a bit novelty in it. Shall we try it? Okay, and we have someone's memory. His hunting apparel, the white shirt. 
And that's the one that goes with the dog then, I guess, that treasure hunter one. Okay, so we'll stick with the donkey outfit for a bit. <laughs> that's pretty fun. I didn't actually know you could do that. Right, so we're now Donkey Man. The Mad Donkey is here to play. Okay, so I think that is a perfect place to end this one. We're just going to get another point in vitality, or whichever the health one was. I'll use my power to help. She must get a bit of a fright when we turn back looking like a donkey. <laughs> Okay, and we're up to 440 health. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.